I'm gonna put these on because I'm about to throw some shade. Hi, I have always wanted to do a tier list, so I decided why not today. I have a couple of them lined up. Um, the first one I'm gonna do is of course, Animated Men Ranked on Hotness. All of these I found on a website called tearmaker.com. Some of us don't wanna admit it, but we all have crushes on animated men. Me included. I'd risk it all. I'd give anything to be with this man. Then we have hot, cute, yeah, maybe an eel. Naveen here, I would risk it all. He is a singer. He is a dancer. He's a performer. That accent, chef's kiss. Do you get my joke? Because your head is, it's in the tuba. I don't know why, but Uncle Stan is in here. Oh my gosh. This man, I'd risk it all. Dimitri. You'd like to go to Paris? Mr. Shang here. I would put him at the top, but in the beginning, he was just, I don't know, just all about war. You know what? I think I'm going to put Naveen down into hot. Now, Flynn Rider is I'd risk it all. He is my favorite man. He is the best man. I'm starting to. Prince Eric. I'm going to put him in cute. He is a very fine man, but he fell in love with a girl, even though she didn't have a voice. That's a little suspicious. So, all right, that's all I'm doing on this one. This is Disney couples tier list. Now for this, I have a couple goals. So cute together, sorta of cute, I have mixed feelings, and just downright illegal. Most movies are illegal. The girl will be like 16 and the guy will be like 30 freaking two. So first one going illegal is Philip and Aurora because first of all, he kissed a dead woman. That is just weird. And also I think he was like 21 and she was like 14 or something. Kristoff and Anna. I just, I don't love them as a couple. I, Minnie and Mickey, I have mixed feelings, okay? Because they literally could be siblings. Snow White and Prince Charming is illegal. I think she was like 12 or something and he was like 30. Also, he kissed a dead girl. Like, what is with men, Disney men, and kissing dead people? Flynn Rider and Rapunzel, couple goals. This isn't even a discussion. They are couple goals. That floating lantern scene, it gets me every time. I'm sorry, is that Jesse and Buzz Lightyear? They are not a couple. I thought it was Jesse and Woody. Are they siblings? I have mixed feelings. I didn't know this was a thing. I thought she was with Woody. Are they related? Oh my God, it's her sister. Wait, I thought they were together. Okay, um, I think that's a good sign to go on to the next one. <laughs> Jeez, I didn't know that. All right, taking a break from Disney. I'm sure you're all excited. Candy tier list. Eat the whole bag in one sitting. Love, I'll have a few. It's okay, and vomit. Bubble tape? This is eat the whole thing in one sitting. As a child, I would open it and just <sighs> right into it. Sweet tarts, I'll say love. This is why I have my shades on, okay? Candy corn? Eat the whole bag in one sitting. For me personally, I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate. For me personally, I love candy corn. I will eat the whole bag. In one day, one sitting, put on a show. Swedish fish. I love Swedish fish. That's enough of the candy because I'm getting hungry. All right, next I have Harry Potter characters. We have godlike, legendary status, interest is peaked. Whom? Pissing me off and a real stinker. So first one we have is Harry Potter himself. Interest is peaked. He's a little too full of himself, you know? He loves being the chosen one. But I am the chosen one. Okay, Hermione so Granger, I'm gonna say legendary status. So freaking smart. She literally said obliviate to her own freaking parents. Jenny Weasley, a real stinker. She literally did nothing. Her only thing was dating Harry. Now Draco Malfoy, I would have put him in pissing me off, but Draco talk happened. And this man is godlike, okay? <laughs> Voldemort, I'm gonna say, interest is peaked. Because 
I would put him at the bottom, but think of how much he accomplished, no matter how good or bad he was. As a child, he knew what he wanted. He set his goals. He did it. Now, they were not good goals at all. He killed a lot of people. The fashion choices, the barefoot man piqued my interest. Ooh, Professor Umbridge pissing me off. She, ooh, Dumbledore. I'll say pissing me off because he is a great man, but he just grows into be the most angry man. You're absolutely sure. In the first two movies, he had a very calm demeanor. And yes, I know he sadly passed away. So they had to, of course, change actors, but they could have kept the calmness of his personality, but he was just so mad all the time. He did do great things, so I will put him in home. That's not the Harry Potter. Next one is really important to me because I love Barbie movies. And yes, I am 18. Deal with it. So for this, I have This Was My Childhood. This Is My Everything. Then I have Iconic. Sung a few songs. I've watched it once or twice. And just know. Now the first one is Barbie Diamond Castle. And this one was my childhood. Vividly remember the scene where they're picking the stones and they find the little heart. And then they have to go to this castle when they have like dogs and they have peanut butter sandwiches. And it's just the cutest movie. Me and my sister, we had so many Barbie dolls and we had the carriage and I played with it every day. And I loved it until I had to throw it away or something. Island Princess, I'll say sung a few songs. No, I'll say watched once or twice because the animals in this movie freaked me out. Why do they look like that? And why does... The peacock have so much sass. Gorgeous. A pretty thing. I'm talking about me. <laughs> the 12 Dancing Princesses was my childhood. I rewatch this movie at least once a year. It is the best movie to ever be made. They dance on stones. Huh. <laughs> Princess and the Popper is iconic. The songs, I'm just like you, I'm just like me, you're just like me, you're just like me. Other than that, I don't remember the premise of it, but it is iconic. That's all of the Barbie movies because all of the other ones I have never seen before, but these are the only ones that matter. All right, I'm gonna go back to Disney. I've got Disney animated movies. The best movie ever, quality, bad, pretendies don't exist, and unranked because I haven't seen them. Lilo and Stitch is the best movie ever. I love Lilo and Stitch. I'm obsessed with Stitch. Ohana means family. And he is like an evil criminal mastermind and the monster government or whatever is trying to get him. Cutest movie ever. And her sister works her booty off every day. Chicken Little <laughs> is the best movie ever. This movie is so funny. And the sky is falling. The sky is falling! It's about a little chicken. Are you kidding me? That is the most iconic movie ever. Now, Tangled, you've heard it once. It is my favorite movie ever. It is the best. We have Brave, which I'm going to say I pretend don't ex doesn't exist. I don't remember the movie at all. I've seen it once in my life and I've never gone back because her family became bears. What? Alice in Wonderland, I'm gonna say is bad because it's really a movie about her on acid and it's a movie for kids. I'm gonna say pretend doesn't exist. Best board games. Now, I love me some board games. Bingo is S freaking tier. I love bingo. I am an old soul. B9. Uno is also S tier. Cards Against Humanity, I'm gonna put in C. I'll play for a while. I'll just get absolutely bored of it. Oh my gosh, Spot It is S tier. Me and my sister would play this every single day. If you don't have Spot It, get it right now. But the fact that there's always a matching object on the card is so crazy to me. How do they do that? What the heck is Taco versus Burrito? It's raining tacos. Guys, Twister is B, okay? No, it's going in C because it is such a sexualized game. 
and it's literally for kids. <gasps> the Game of Things is A tier. If you don't have this game, it's such a good family game. You're basically given a topic and it'll be like things that are red and everyone writes something on the card and they pass it to the person and they have to guess who said what. My family does a little twist on it that at the end of the game to make a story from the words on our card. And so many people have peed laughing from playing that game. I think that's it. Uh, my personal opinion, I am not trying to upset anyone, but this is just for kicks and giggles and fun. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.